Hello and welcome to this meditation. Fear not. Be the real you. To begin with, let us put ourselves in a comfortable and relaxed position. Let the body be restful. As you sink into your chair, you can be seated or you could even be lying on your back. Let your body have no demands from you. Set your body free from all the demands that you may have given to keep it under control or to do your bidding. Let your mind do be empty as you empty out or withdraw yourself from the unceasing thoughts that constantly fly past your mind. Be in a place right now where you are totally alone, where you feel extremely safe, where you feel you can really be yourself. Just be yourself. Allow the real you to show itself from behind all the facades, from behind all that it has been lingering, from behind everything. Now let the real you show up. absolutely joyful, be absolutely at ease with the real you. You are not what the world has told you, beginning with your parents. You are not what you yourself thought yourself to be. You are not anything else except what God created you to be. fact you cannot be anything else. Your reality always remains the same. So do not assume any other reality.
every other reality that you assume is not the real you. It is just something that you wear on top of your truth. As we go into this meditation, imagine right now that you have gone for a reunion of your high school friends. There they are in the big hall. There's a lot of talk, lot of friendship, lot of oohs and ahs. And you walk inside. You're handed a glass of wine. What do you do? Do you wait for the rest to acknowledge you? Do you believe your self-worth depends on how others treat you right now? Are you standing? and watching all that is going on in that room? Who is getting the attention and who is not? Or are you just sitting on a chair feeling good about yourself and wondering who you should approach. The real you steps out and you tell yourself, I will be the truth of who I am. At that moment, all pretenses are gone, all expectations are frozen, and you step out to be the one you were created to be. created and you are right now all that is good right now you are all that is merciful right now you are all that is compassionate all that is understanding. And as you say to yourself, I am goodness and mercy and compassion and understanding. The others around the room begin to feel who you are. From you, the vibrations of compassion 
goodness, mercy and understanding go forth. You are not here to taste the goodness of others. You are not here to get the mercy and understanding from others. You are here to give it. You have been sent into the world to be the real you. the image of god every moment of your life you are goodness and compassion and mercy and understanding and that's the way you heal yourself and the world Just be at peace. Breathe in and breathe out. Tell yourself, I am goodness. I am mercy. I am understanding, and I am compassion. and now we go to another place we go to your family it is thanksgiving and everyone has gathered for the annual family get together bring everyone there into your favorite home your parents grandparents children your brothers sisters and their children a few of your friends intimate friends and there they are enjoying the aroma of food being cooked and the children squealing and running around and you look with love on everyone be the real you all the memories that you may be having of previous hurts all the memories you may be having of previous words being spoken all the memories you may be having of actions and reactions let them be in the past ask yourself to all these people who are gathered around the table who do i choose to be and let the answer come right from the bottom of your heart i want to be me i want to be my authentic self I want to be real. 
and follow the guidance of your authentic self. Hold the hands of your real self and move among the members of your family. With the will and the desire to bring healing to all. There are some who may need your forgiveness. Give it freely, for you are forgiveness itself. There are others who need your patience. And as impatience rises in you, once again ask yourself, who am I? I wish to be forgiveness and patience so that I remain a healer. I remain a lover. I remain perfect image of God. As you go around the family members, you may find someone who needs strength, someone who feels weak and isolated and alone. You know how that feels. Go to that person by telling yourself, I am strength. I have come to give strength to those who are weak. And go and strengthen the members of your family that are reaching out their hands for you give them your strength. Don't hold back. The real you loves to forgive, loves to be patient, loves to give strength to others. The real you sits for some time and strengthens those who are weak and goes to other members of the family who may be now needing courage. They may have lost a job. They have, may have had some adversity. They may have met some accident. And they look at you Will you, therefore, be the one to lift up their courage? Let this song be sung in your heart as you awaken the real you. I am patience. I am strength. I am courage. I am forgiveness. And as you do this, you begin by healing yourself, healing those around you, and healing the world. Do not be afraid to do that. Fear not to be who you are. Fear not to stand out and to extend your hand to those who need you. Be not afraid to give your heart to those who need your love. 
have come into this world not to receive anything but to give you have come into this world not to be served but to serve and in service is your own redemption breathe in and breathe out be at peace the real you need not fear the real you is always face to face with god the real you is always at peace fear not be real fear not be authentic